Okay, so at this point, you might already know what Minecraft is, but to others that don't, let me explain. So, Minecraft is a game that can let you play any mode you want. You can play creatively, where you can place any block you want and bank anything you want, or survivally, where you can go and survive multiple different nights racking up materials to make yourself happy. This game is loved by millions. In fact, even I Hate Everything himself loves Minecraft. And let me just get it out there. I... I really like Minecraft. But today, I'm not going to be talking about Minecraft itself. I'm going to be talking about Minecraft merchandise. More specifically, ideas for Minecraft merchandise. Here are the seven ideas I have for Minecraft merchandise. Enchantment Table Book Holder The enchantment table is a really interesting idea, made to give tools and armor specific power-ups and traits. So how about we port it into the real world by making it a book holder made to hold your favorite book? This would definitely go great with the four Minecraft handbooks Mojang and Scholastic released. I mean, come on, it's like they're a perfect match. I also think that parents and teachers can actually use this to make children more interested in reading. So it can also kind of be pretty educational, and people can actually use this in schools. And speaking of books... The Book and Quill. Okay, yes, I do know book and quills do exist in real life, but I'm going to be talking about a book and quill that looks just like the ones in the game. Book and quills can be useful for when you want to write down coordinates on the village that you found, it can also be used for writing down very important messages, like for example, don't dig down. That's why we have books and quills, which you can make out of a book, a feather, and an ink sack, which makes sense. In other words, to sum it all up, a book and quill is basically like its own Minecraft journal. You can write anything you want in it, and you can even permanently sign it as its own book. I think it's a great idea for Mojang and Mattel to release real life books and quills, so that way people could write down anything they want the same way that they do in Minecraft. The Item Frame Item frames have been around for years, and they're a great item to let you hang your favorite item up on the wall. And as you may all know, Mojang has released foam weapons for you to buy at a store. A foam diamond pickaxe, a diamond sword, and even a working bow and arrow. And even an enchanted one. So because of that, I think it would be a great idea for Mojang to release official item frames for you to hang your foam items up onto the wall. With multiple different clips so you can pick a certain one. Redstone USB Extension Cords Redstone is probably the greatest item to ever exist in the game. You could build really simple or really complex mechanisms with this thing. You can use a short pulsed button, a constant pulse lever, or my personal favorite, the T flip flop, which makes a button act like a lever. Which is actually something I've been wanting to do for years until now. And as you may know, Mojang and ThinkGeek released this thing called the Redstone Torch USB Wall Charger. I'm bringing this up because I think Mojang and ThinkGeek should release USB extension cords that look like Redstone. In fact, I think even the ends can look like Redstone repeaters. And much like Redstone, they both have to deal with electricity, so that means they are perfect to mix with each other. Potion sodas. I think this is pretty much self-explanatory, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain. Potions have been around for years, and a bit one kid thought to themselves, how cool would that be if they made potions in real life? Well, I think this will be a great opportunity for Mojang to release actual potion sodas for you to buy at a store. Now, I think this is kind of weird because there needs to be some type of company to go with it, like Mojang and Mattel, Mojang and Thinking, etc. So I think the company that should handle this is SodaStream. 
This is a great opportunity to do that, mainly because potions are made by using a brewing stand, or you have to make your own potions. Much like soda streams, you can use that to make your own sodas. So this is a great match! Glowstone Lamp Glowstone is a very, very lovely item. It's basically a torch in a block, but there's more to it. And as you can see by the netherrack walls, you can only find it in the nether, which is kind of sad. So I think it would be a cool idea for Mojang to release a toy that looks and acts like glowstone. I mean, come on, if they can make working torches and hand censoring diamond and redstone blocks, then I think they can do this. Minecraft Weapon Maker. Now before I go on with this idea, let me explain. Now, during the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens back in 2015, they released a new toy that I think was really interesting called Blade Builders, where you get to make your own never before seen lightsaber. What I'm saying is, Mojang should release a cool toy where you can make your own never before seen Minecraft weapon. Here's how I think it should all be packaged. First, it should come with a crafting table. Then it should come with connectable sticks so you can make it as long as you want. And it should also come with a bunch of ends so that way you can make it like a multi-tool. And also for the heck of it, have a bunch of the original ingots there as well. I think this would also be perfect for a challenge to see who can make the best original tool that has never been seen before. So that way Mojang can actually then put it into a new update. Oh my gosh, that was a long video for me to do. So, not only that this shows the amazing ideas that Moja could do as merchandise, but it also shows a main reason why I don't do top 10s anymore. Or top 5s, or top 7s, whatever. So, which one of these ideas was your favorite? Tell me in the comments, and if you have any other suggestions of what you want me to talk about next, and if you have any fan art you want to submit to me, you can submit them all via Twitter, Discord, or in the comment section below via the hashtag, hashtag Gigo to Gaming. And if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, and if you're new, the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.